morning, Morgy. <laughs> Are you ready for the day to come? It's 8.22 on the 23rd of February, 2014. I'm in the shower thinking about this film. The deadline's getting closer and I'm starting to panic. I still haven't heard back from most of the photographers. <laughs> Can I have quiet, please, everyone? I've always wanted to try a tracking shot. Let's track in on Dad. If this is a film about photography, it should start with him. And his voice. Maybe he could read this to camera. With his bushy beard, it's probably best. Most authoritative. And I want Dick Jewell to be part of the film crew. Maybe he could wave to camera. All right, team. This is a film about photography, and therefore a film about lies. Even the nature of truth. Or possibly a lie about a lie. Or a truth about the truth. When I was a kid, my dad was a fashion photographer. Well, actually, he still is. So there were loads of magazines lying around the place. On occasion, I used to look at them, and the only photographer I took any particular notes of was this German guy called... What about a pencil? Because that's... stupid, right? What's this for? The back cover of the uh, Teller Araki book. He's going to write A. A is better than T. <laughs> Looks better. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but no, but I don't want, I need to be big. <laughs> Araki is not going to have a low. If I have like this sort of small T, I'm look like some fucking tiny willy. In an ultimate sense, I don't know that I could, uh that I could associate a word such as satisfaction with the production of making pictures. I don't know that I'd put those two together. You know, in that moment of feeling that everything has come together and one's actually produced something of value, then, then um, it's almost like the bigger and yet the further away that carrot becomes. It works as a parody like that, really, in my experience. <laughs> I can remember the first session that was really important to me was me taking a uh, self-portrait in a field and uh, taking my pants off. Seems to be a reoccurring theme these days. And um, it was a desperate attempt to get honest. Oh! 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 Wait, wait, wait! What the? Oh! Oh my god! Wait, wait! Oh my God, Goma! No, no, it was unbelievable. So many chances. It was a penalty. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, I miss you, darling. Oh, can't wait to see you. Wait, wait, it's a penalty. Wait, guess who's shooting it? Yes! You're right, it's Miller. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! 2-0! We have to quickly pass cameras here and go up another staircase. So just get up as close as you can behind me and we'll go out together. You guys ready? So dope, dude. <laughs> it's unobstructed. There's no like, there's like not one thing in front of you. You can't even like capture what's going on up here, you know, which is what's interesting. Like even a photo, it's just not. It's totally like earning it going up the stairs and then popping out. Tyrone, get behind me, please. <laughs> Thank you.
you see like the colour of that yeah. and the texture of it. They get rolled around and smoothed off and they get to look like the flints that we know, but when they're born, like that one is just coming out of the chalk. It just trips me out that, you know, that's... I don't know if I need photography, but it needs, you know, you need something, don't you? Got to keep busy. And what's true to me today probably won't be true to me tomorrow anyway. But all a camera can do is record the light bouncing off of something. To me, I like those, those little kind of errors and misunderstandings and... They're where the fun happens. In the, in the slippage. I see it, therefore it is real, and what is real is also true. Yeah, of course. It's good. Yeah. Fucking awesome. A photograph is always yoked to something out there, to a reality that is independent of the apparatus and medium that capture it. Yet, when we take unthinking comfort in photography's documenting of the real, we tend to forget its more sinister relationship with the unreal. The reassuringly objective could become the treacherously subjective in photographs. And this is the pleasure as well as the menace of photography, whose archives are as full of fiction as of truth. Well, I don't really know much about gardening at all. Oh, I didn't used to, I know a bit more now. Truth, what's that? Ugh. I don't like truth. I like facts. Mm. Tell me something truthful. Oh. And the more I talk about it, the more of it, the more I don't want to. Yeah, I like, like that cat. What, what cat? Where's my... The pussy cat. Morphe, take one. Several things dovetailed in my mind, and at once it struck me what quality went to form a man of achievement, especially in literature, and which Shakespeare possessed so enormously. I mean, negative capability. That is, when man is capable of being in uncertainties, mysteries, doubts, without any irritable reaching after fact and fiction. John Keats, 1817. Whoa! <laughs> Somehow, whenever I see pumpkin, I think... <laughs> I think of my crows. <laughs> Because I feel like I'm, my body is a bit like pumpkin, so I, I just want to be friendly. <laughs> when I came back from London in 2002, I started taking uh, twins' pictures. I wish that if there is another childish my self exist, I can be more cheerful together. Many ships pass through this ocean, but it's really foggy, you cannot see the ocean. But it's... Where, where's that taken? It's there. Oh, really? What, on your balcony? No. กับคนที่ผมต้องการให้คนที่มีความสุขทุกวันได้ดูว่าจริงๆแล้วความสุขที่พวกเขามีนั้นกรุงเทพเหมือนเหมือนมันไม่ใช่เมือง
แต่มันเหมือนกับมันเป็นสิ่งมีชีวิตชนิดหนึ่งที่เรียกว่ากรุงเทพเหมือนสิ่งมีชีวิตชนิดหนึ่งที่ที่ดึงดูดคนหลายๆแบบเข้ามาอยู่ร่วมกันความดิ้นรนในทุกทุกทุกย่อมของกรุงเทพบางทีเราอาจจะมองไม่เห็นมันแต่นั่นแหละคือพลังที่ขับเคลื่อนกรุงเทพคนที่อยู่นอกสายตาจริงๆคนที่เราไม่เคยมองเห็นเขามีตัวตนอยู่เพราะสุดท้ายเขาคือเหตุเฮาของสังคมซึ่งจริงแล้วเขาปะปนกับเราอยู่ทุกวันI remember being 10 years old and thinking the maximum amount of time I have left now is 100 years, and being really freaked out by that. I think I'm kind of obsessed with time, and I feel like I'm running out of time. I like to photograph like when I'm going into something and it's new and exciting, and then I usually photograph when I, yeah, I do usually photograph going out of it also. Now maybe now I'm more, I'm focusing more on myself maybe in these relationships. Um, 
This is a very, very, very important question. And um, this is a, a, my main curiosity. In Japanese, shashin, it means uh, capture true, very strong. Especially Japanese people always thinking about the shashin. Photography is true. Sha means shoot. Shin means truth. Truth shoot photography. My name is uh, Takashi Honma. So now he's uh, putting a film in the wall in the room. Such a small hole here. One millimeter. To me, photography is not true. Photography is photography. Reality is reality. I think uh, quite important thinking about separate. As I said, photographers are always looking for something like a hunter, like a hunting. I just, I thought I have to do another way. Studying here, you 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 don't see like a chance to, to become successful someday or some point, or you feel like nobody really is interested in what's happening here. <laughs> it just comes out of life experience, doing something and having 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 fun with your life. Because I kind of I learned a lesson that I don't want to follow in the traps of my father. And that was a big, big moment, you know, that, where, you, where you think you can either be drooping your life, being depressed or miserable or moaning about, oh, it's raining today, I'm here. Because I can be very depressive and, and not so good, not so well and things like that. But you think this photography thing gives me a chance to fucking go out there. And that's what I, what, I, what I chose to do. We are sitting now facing Morningside Park. The remains became a waterfall, which is a wonderful thing, and a pond that has ducks and geese. And in the spring, turtles, you see their noses swimming above the water, and two giant weeping willows. Oh, indeed. Oh. 
I don't really take photographs anymore, like documentary pictures or something, or I don't really try to. Mostly, I'm pretty much interested in like the latest pictures that I took. Look at you little groms. I don't know what you were doing here. Anyhow, that sort of date became an obsession. I really enjoy knowing as soon as I see the picture when I took it. Yeah, I got it. I don't know why. I don't know why I enjoyed that. This one I printed on top of a catalog page. This is my portrait of Andy Warhol. It says, I never wanted to be a painter. I wanted to be a tap dancer. My paintings never turned out the way I expected them to, but I'm never surprised. I never read. I just look at pictures. That's another thing, you know. Photography is really, you take pictures so you know what you're looking at. Because half the shit you don't see when you take the picture. Hi, Jake. Hey, Dad. I've been realizing that it's kind of, although you're not in it, apart from the beginning, it's basically about you. Validity. I think that photography, unfortunately, validates what you do. Video validates what you do. Documentation is always validated. And it's simultaneously depressing and interesting. Well, I'm also called a street shooter. And I got into it when they murdered Dr. Martin Luther King. Urge. I've had a lot of urges. <laughs> Photography is just, hey, look at that. And you say, what, what? Ah, oh, never mind, you missed it. The camera leaves off of the burden of memory. It surveys us like a god, and it surveys for us. Yet, no other god has been so cynical. For the camera records in order to forget. John Berger, 1972. No, I'm not there <laughs> I put two pairs of Jordans on my dog the other day and took a picture. Um, and I probably wouldn't have done that if I wasn't shooting photos, so something good came out of it. I don't really think as a photographer anymore. I mean, I see pictures all the time. Creating something makes me happy. There's a happiness in that. I'm Arnie Svensson. We're in New York in Lower Manhattan. I'm a photographer. What more do you want? Can I say I'm an artist? My name is Patrick Collins, and we are in or I left to Lower East Side. Onto the streets and try to Making get Making some kind of sense out of chaos. My dad, um... In the 30 years that I've been doing photography, I'm having the most fun and happiness that I've ever had in my life. I think it gives me a reason to exist. It's, it fulfills that urge just to be. My name is Mario Sorrenti, and we are in my studio in New York on Center and Grand. I imagine everything to be something that has a very short life. And with the camera, the concept of impressing lights onto a negative. For me, photography is a cast of skin of myself. And it's already not me anymore. You know, I'll open all that mail one day, but you know, I'm going out and getting a new picture. 
what urge does photography satisfy in you? Um, immortality. You know, it depends what pictures. You know, I'm going to be remembered by the most horrible pictures I've ever taken. You know, so yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to be happy. But, you know, happiness isn't everything. <laughs> and, you know, neither, neither is immortality. You know, immortality is probably a different nightmare. Um, so I'll see you soon. Bye.